most significant group that I ever interviewed and found was right here in New Orleans when there was a little tiny ad in, in a paper that said this group from the 101st Airborne was having a reunion in the Monteleon Hotel down in the French Quarter. I went there and walked into history because that group turned out to be the band of brothers. And had I not walked in and Ambrose went, came and followed me in, their story, that wonderful story of the band of brothers would be forever lost. It's not just going to be visiting monuments or standing in a spot and say somewhere around here something happened, but if you're with Ambrose or if you're on my Band of Brothers trip, I can take you to a spot where one of the Band of Brothers landed, and I know he did because he took me there. Well, I'm slightly biased, but this is without question the best Band of Brothers tour you can take, um, and if imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, we have a lot of people that like to imitate us, but we are the first people that did it. We developed, Steve and Ambrose wrote the book. We developed the tour, and anybody that's come along since then is just copying us. We saw the Band of Brothers video, and what was so neat is we would see part of the video, and then we would actually go visit that battle site. So it, it was, you just can't get that anywhere else except with Stephen Ambrose. The food along the way is exceptional. Always, every meal. No, you know, no exceptions, it was really wonderful. Stephen Ambrose Tours uh, relates to the ordinary people who have been in the military. They certainly cover strategy and the high levels of a military campaign, but they have the great ability to collect uh, much anecdotal information about the average GI. And that is what gives the color and the humanness to their tours. Well, we ended up at Eagle's Nest in Birch's Garden, and uh, that was Hitler's retreat. We went high, high, high up on a hill, and his belongings are still there. And so it was just uh, really um, an unusual experience, really exceptional. One of the, the most poignant moments of the trip, I think, they've traveled in the footsteps of these men now for two weeks, and at the very end, we stand in a field where the very last photograph of the company was taken before they all separated and went home. And to stand there kind of brings the whole odyssey to an end and you're up in the Bavarian Alps and it's gorgeous and you've followed these men for so long that they feel like they're part of you.